Hey, woo, wow, I'm loving and living life, living the dream right now, it's, it's great. So, we're multitasking, we've got two phones, so what do we do with two phones and two vehicles that I'm able to use, one my wife and one of mine? Uh, let's use it for gig work, let's multitask, let's use different apps, let's have DoorDash and Uber Eats running at the same time, and Uber Eats is nothing, nothing, I've been driving around, nothing, not a single order coming through, DoorDash, can't even have orders coming through because it's dead. So we are switching to Uber and Lyft, which was the plan. I just can't use this car because this car doesn't have an inspection yet. We will get that approved, whatever. Uh, I got to clean out my car. And after volunteer work today, which I hate volunteering because it's such a waste of time, but we signed up for it and uh, we got to finish it hopefully soon. So after volunteering, we're gonna do Uber and Lyft because we need to make hundreds of dollars every single day in order to get out of this hole. And uh, we still have a full-time job, but uh, the full-time job is, uh, yikes, yeah, not, not going so great. train has slowly grinded to a halt. That's pretty much that. Welcome everybody, my name is Michael and today is a very interesting day. It is Wednesday, May 10th and I have resigned from my sales position. I unfortunately am drowning in my bills more than ever before, uh, having trouble with rent, with uh, a, a credit card payment that was supposed to go through, and you know I was hoping PNC Overdraft would work, and, and it returned it. Like, PNC Overdraft was working better before, you know, it gives you extra time to pay without having an overdraft fee, it gives you a little bit of time, you know, but uh, nope, it, it, it is an NSF, not non-sufficient funds return. So, uh, it is time to make money with Uber, DoorDash, Lyft, Uber Eats, anything I can find right now, whether this is temporary or, well, I mean, it is going to be temporary, but most likely full-time now because uh, I need money fast and I need to pay for rent. I need to pay for uh, very large upcoming bills very, very soon. I'm already behind like four figures and... We need money for food, gas, all the basic necessities. Like, this is survival mode. Do or die now. Um, I, I was told I was going to get paid out by the dealership. The dealership treated me very well, but it's just a tough time right now. And I just, even if it wasn't a tough time, you still need time to get leads and everything. I'm not blaming them. I'm only The only person to blame is myself for getting myself into this mess. And this has been dragging on for a while. Um, maxed out the credit cards and... You know, it is what it is. Gotta, gotta fight my way out. So we're gonna put as much time as we would have in the dealership into this, if not more. Oh boy, uh, if not more. And yeah, hope hope for the best. Plus, uh, big bonus is while well, everybody hates it, yes, your car depreciates and all that. But I already put a huge amount of miles on my vehicle, so. Even before Uber DoorDash, I put, you know, like 25, 30,000 miles on it, on it in a year. Now, that was a little bit with DoorDash and Uber, but still, uh, with, let's say without it, 20 to 25,000. That's how much I, I drive. And yes, to the new job, it would have been less miles now. But still, I, I put a lot of work, and this vehicle requires a lot of work. It needs I'm driving on winter tires which is going to be all right for the next month, but it needs to get back into the seasonals or summers, seasonals at least. That's going to be my cheapest option. Have three with one tire pop. Need to find a used one and get those four seasonals on. Need to replace my brakes and rotors, uh, power steering, and probably oil filter and oil change within the next, what, two, three thousand miles. So we're not, we're not super bad on that yet, but uh, Uber will give me money where it's not going to be taxed up until next year. You have to pay for the taxes and you have to keep track of everything. 
but uh, I will, of course, claim miles and the depreciation and whatnot. But right now, we just need to, and, and it, is a, it is a very interesting time right now, where otherwise, I, I'm not really sure what to do. So, we are going to go with a plan. We are going to clean the back of my car, and we bought some cleaning wipes. We bought this air freshener, which sucks, but oh well, whatever. Uh, have to have a clean car, have to have phones charged, we'll go out. Just uh, sign resignation. What again? You know, sign resignation. We'll maybe get paid for whatever the remainder hours is. I'm not sure. They said I will get paid for what is left over, but I'm not sure if that's commission or hours or whatever. Uh, I don't know what happens when you when you barely made anything. So at, at best, it'll be a couple hundred bucks next Friday. But uh, for right now, we got to pay some bills. We got to uh, go to a dentist pretty soon. And uh, I'm very excited to get started on this, but nervous as well, because I need the money. Again, did not expect to find myself in this position, but it is temporary until we find uh, a job that is hourly and pays well hourly and is 40 hours instead of 50, uh, or like my previous job, going up to 60, where yes, I was able to, last year I made 69,000 with DoorDash and everything at my job, 68, 183, whatever. Um, this year I was on track to, you know, do 80, uh, with DoorDash and Uber, maybe, maybe closer to 85, but, um, uh, I need a hundred, I need a hundred thousand and neither that was enough, uh, nor is probably car sales not the, it's not the best thing unless you already have a client base where you're a superstar because you need money. You need money right now, immediately and sales if it has a salary plus commission then you're you're great outside of car sales right car sales um, usually if you do have that uh commission plus salary it's not the best because it's not the best paid plan uh outside again i need to hit a hundred thousand that's why we're working on this degree so next year we should be finished with this degree i just need more time uh so we will use right now whatever we can to get out of this hole and then we'll have enough time to uh, focus on my studies again. Uh, and then when we have a degree, we'll, we'll get back into sales. Uh, I don't know what I'm gonna do in the meantime, but you know, it is what it is. I just need to find a 40 hour job that I'm relatively able to sit at because I can't stand for too long. My back starts hurting, which I'm worried because my back's gonna hurt in this car. But again, uh, life forces you to do things you're not comfortable with. And it's very funny. We went from making a hundred thousand dollars as a nineteen-year-old in less than a year, closer to half a year, to um, to this, massively in debt and, and screwed. So uh, let's go ahead and let's get started. Let's see what happens. I need to make like three hundred, four hundred bucks today, and I need to make that every single day, and and then we we might be all right. So let's get started. All right. So we are home. We're gonna get the car cleaned up. Just needed to change. It's actually a good thing we're leaving home because I think they're still doing construction in the opposite. Yep, there we go. We're going to need to buy a charger afterwards because I don't have, thanks to Apple, I don't have these chargers. But I'm very thankful to have two phones because my other phone has no space. And I'm able to do two apps at the same time and have extra battery and whatnot. But Apple, come on. I got the cable, but not the not the charger. I'm using my wife's charger. So we're gonna get it charged up, eat something very quick, clean, and let's go. And I just watched a video of someone maxing out, like working just a little over what I was working at the dealership in Chicago, in my area, who was able to earn $3,000 in a single week. Um, now that is a little crazy, but I've seen plenty of people do $2,000. $2,000 in a week, yes, after miles and, and gas and whatever. That's what I need to get out of my situation right now. So even $1,500 is going to help. Anything's going to help. $300, $400 today is better than nothing, which at the dealership I would have made nothing. So let's get on to it. Okay, we're now going through a car wash. Got a free McChicken because there's a free McChicken today from the McDonald's app. And uh, going to vacuum everything out. I took the cheapest car wash just so it because a bird pooped of course a bird pooped whatever it's an investment at least that's what i'm telling myself so let's do it that's what we're starting with 117 341 we're probably gonna end with uh, a fair amount later that looks like a 
looks epic. It always looks like a crazy angle, but they're turning sideways. Like it looks like they're going 100 degrees up. Oh yeah! But it's it's crazy. I love it. It fell off. So we're eating, enjoying life. Very excited. Trying to spot a plane. Whoa! There it is. Queen of the sky. Seven four seven going through. Can you zoom? No, you can't. Yeah, it's going the other way. Yeah, you can't really see it unless you're further in. But anyways, uh, also we have an interesting life update that we will uh, post later on in this week. But for the most part, uh, let's wrap this up. 2.47.23. We ended early. Six hours, 46 minutes. My leg hurts a little bit. So what I would have done is I would have taken a break and a couple more just to hit that $20 promotion. The $5 remainder would be tomorrow. But uh, my wife wants me home early. It's getting a little late. It's 10, 16, got back. It was a 45 minute drive from the city. So that's the thing. We got to go out earlier. Um, but on the weekends, I'm just going to stay out late and let's make the money. $247, almost 250 in almost seven hours not bad um the hourly did go down if you subtract a hundred dollar promotion to 147 a couple cents uh to 21 dollars and like 70 whatever so after gas and everything it's going to be under 20 but uh with the promotion it's well above that so was today worth it 100 percent um what are we are going to do is we're going to see how it is on the weekends with surge and we're gonna see, because right now I was accepting every single one, almost every single one except like two I, I didn't get to in time. So I don't know what I'm doing. So that's probably why it's lower. Um, if I knew what I was doing a little bit better, then I definitely see how some of these people are able to average 30 bucks an hour. Honestly, not bad at all because when you do the math with just the bonus for today, again, someone who's doing this temporary and they're here for the bonuses every now and then, Uber drivers complain, well, if you're doing this full time forever, well, you're not gonna get the same bonuses as the new guys, and that's right. Um, so if you stop for an, a week or two, they're gonna ask you, well, what's going on? Why are, uh, why is this happening? What can we do to incentivize you to come back? Oh, here's a bonus, here's a quest. Boom! And that's when you do it. Uh, there was one day where thanks to a little promotion, I was able to get like 300 plus bucks from DoorDash. So, you know, it, it, it's good to incentivize that. It's always extra money, pays for gas, pays for whatever, you know, you need to maintain your car. I, I know the brakes and rotors and everything. Well, it's a good way to pay for it. Uh, especially it, it, the best thing it's for when you're going from one job to another. So you're you're not one or two weeks or three weeks without a job. You got something. Next week I've got a, uh, a a test with the TSA, and then we'll see if anything comes from that. If not, there's plenty of other stuff out there. Not worried at all. One bit we've got this. And that was that. Thanks for watching. Um, we started a day by resigning, and that was scary, but it's scarier staying there and not getting a sale because I can't pay for anything. And even if I got a $5,000 sale, again, can't pay for anything. Now, well, we, we still can't pay for much, right? Mm -hmm. we, we need a killer weekend, we need to work hard, but it showed me that there's potential. Even at $21 an hour, again, that's better. Yeah, you got gas. Yeah, you got maintenance. Yeah, you got taxes. All right, whatever. Let's just say it's 15 bucks an hour. Don't know really what I'm doing. Once we get surges, once we get all that, we can probably get to 20 bucks an hour after everything. That's still not bad for someone who otherwise would be sitting at home or uh, sitting at the dealership waiting for a sale. So now... The goal is to get out of debt, get the highest paying debt out of here, and then we're able to live our lives normally, uh, find a job and whatnot. So, thanks for watching! Again, that was very exciting. So, it's not bad, it's easy. See ya.